Morning. Welcome to the Upper Room. In the Upper Room, we're going to start off with worship, and we're going to go to a gospel hymn. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. You know, if you look in the news, you see that the whole world is kind of wild right now. In fact, it's more than kind of wild. It's really wild. And I'll tell you, it's really easy to be in fear. It's There's a lot of uncertainty. But I'm going to tell you something. If we can trust in Jesus, you know, Jesus has already been into our tomorrow. The Bible says that. And if we could just trust in him and just live our lives focused on him and walk with him, we know he will see us through. And so here's some courses. Let's change this just a little bit. <clears throat> He's a savior of Jesus, Jesus, 
He's the Savior of once you put your life in Jesus' hands. You know, I walk around with joy all the time in my heart. In my heart, there just rings that joy that the Lord gives because in spite of everything going on, I know that he's got my life in his hands. And I'm going to tell you something. I want to pray for you right now. If you're sick, I just want you to reach out and just grab that healing Oh, because, you know, I'm going to tell you something. The Lord loves you so much that his heart's desire is to heal you of your sicknesses, to take away disease. Oh, yes. And, you know, I've seen him do even miracles like people with cancer gone. You know, there's a, a lady that we just found out about. We prayed for her neighbor, neighbor's um, friend, and she had tumors in her back. You know, the it came back and and the, and is around the lymph nodes and everything, and she just got the report that what's there is little and it's all dried up. Oh, the Lord, the Lord did that, the Lord did that, and you know He is our healer. I know there's, I know back at the church we went to in Largo, there were three women that had cancer, and I prayed and I just went to the Lord, and. And I know others did too. Well, you know what? Two of them are still alive. The third one did go home with the Lord. Um, we don't know. We don't know the reasons, but I'm going to tell you something. God is God and his will is done. And I can assure you that. And another thing of God's will is to shower you with his love. So let's pray. Precious Heavenly Father, oh, I thank you for your great love for us. And Father, we just pray right now for those that are sick. Father, that pour your healing anointing over them right now. Oh, in Jesus' name and heal. Heal them of their sicknesses. Pour your miraculous power down. Perform miracles in people's lives. Drive out cancer. Oh, man, tumors, just drive them out in Jesus' name. And if they have corona, drive it out right now in Jesus' name. Let them recover with no, no ongoing symptoms. 
And Father, we just pray, Lord, that if anybody needs a miracle, a miracle from you, that your miracle working power will just fall upon them right now. Oh, and right now, right now in Jesus' precious name. And if there's something that's bothering you like fear, if fear's got a grip on you, if there's something tormenting you, we drive that out in Jesus' precious name. And we command it to leave and not come back because the blood of Jesus is against you right now. And Father, I just pray, Lord, oh, Lord, those that have, have trouble with this fear, that you would just pour your peace upon them right now and let that peace follow them every day. And Father, I just pray right now that you would just take and wrap your arms of love. Oh, just wrap them ever so tight around them all. Oh, Father, I know you love them. Oh, you love them beyond words, Lord. Father, just pour your love upon them right now. Oh, I feel your love right here. Oh, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your great love. And Father, let them go through these days knowing that you love them. Oh, Father, I pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Until next time, God bless you and I love you. In the upper room with Jesus. Yeah.